I was going through the comments and I saw this comment on Savage Finance. I don't know, Glendon. I'm kind of on the fence and I'm kind of on the fence because I turned $8,000 into $33,000 in one year not doing day trading and buying stocks that are appreciated. And I get a lot of people who are investors. I even got another comment like, man, I stopped watching you because you're talking bad about investors. Let me go ahead and break it down for you. I've been on the corporate toolbox bandwagon for so long that I actually forgot something. So you turn $8,000 into $33,000, okay? I turned $1 into $60,000 plus, because I still have the gold Cougarans in six months. See, I don't really think about that stuff and don't talk about it, but in my storage auction career, I bought around 1,500 storage units. And out that 1,500, 45 were exceptional where I spent a little bit of money and made 30, 40, 100X or 1,000X more than my original spend. And if I wanted to play the scammy, well, you know, you can invest this much money into XYZ and get a yield of, but see, I'm, I'm not that kind of guy. And this is one of the reasons that I put out the information about investing. Investing should be a supplement. Investing should be a add-on because for you to make good money, and we will define good money as 100, 150, 250, or $300,000 a year, you will need millions of dollars of investments to get those type of yields. Starting a business will give you those yields way quicker. Plus, let's take the example, I bought a Porsche recently. I spent $90,000. I've already replaced that money. I bought the Porsche in August. I've already replaced that $90,000 with my business. You cannot tell me, you cannot show me an investor that's getting those kind of gains where you can spend $90,000 one month, then the next month you get it back. They ain't happening in investment. See, this is one of the reasons, because you know, I'm gonna start to flex a little bit more because my storage auction days, which I love storage auctions, it was my, it was a serious love affair that I had with storage auctions. I made so much money, but see, I didn't make the kind of money that I'm making now because, and I'm gonna explain to you why, I had to go to auctions. See, storage auctions took up a lot of my personal capital which is my human energy. I had to be present at auctions and I could not leverage me unless I was like, you know, the, someone that can clone myself and make four or five of me to be in various locations. That was the hard part about the storage auction business was leveraging my expertise, leveraging. I couldn't do that. And that's why I only made so much money. I've made way more money here on YouTube, way more money. So. One of the things that you have to understand, my dear investors, the investing should be a supplement to your active income. So when your active income, your investments are big enough to provide income for you when you're no longer working. But so many people want to get into Forex, day trading, and thank you to my folks who have commented in the comments, like I'm a trader and he's 100% correct. Cause see, here's the math. If you become a Forex trader, you have a 99% chance of failure. If you become an Amazon FBA person, you have a one point, you have a 92% chance of failure and you have a 97% chance, well, of just making average money. And if you want to be a day trader, 1.7%. Success rate, which means a 98.3% failure rate. Part of it is being an investor is sexy. It's like, well, I'm an investor. It sounds good. It's like, yeah, I'm an investor. I'm investing in real estate. I'm investing in stocks. I'm investing in bonds. I'm in the market. I'm investing in gold. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm investing, man. I'm an investor. Really, this is what for me to you, my dear investors, I will take my active income and put it up against your yields. I will bet you $10,000 that you don't make more money than me. And I would need to see your tax forms if you want to enter into this 
wager. Now, yeah, you need to put up $10,000 too, because if you're making money, you should have $10,000. So this is the challenge. For anyone who's, quote, an investor, and you feel that you make more money than me, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna take that, your $10,000 and put it in the escrow account, because I know what will happen. Someone would jump. Because, you know, years ago, I put up a bet and I had someone who came up and he had all of these stipulations and escape clauses because he knew that what he was trying to propose wasn't going to fly. Before we even enter this wager, you need to show me that you even have $10,000. Investing can be good. I'm going to become a real estate investor. I'm going to park active income into rental properties and take my dividends as rent forever. So I'm going to become an investor, but I understand the game. It's a supplement. How am I becoming an investor? I'm taking massive active income and I'm parking it in real estate and I'm pulling it out a little bit at a time. See, this is the thing. Cause like for you to quit your job, and this is so, what so many people want to do. They want to quit their job and become a full-time investor. Really. I'm here to tell you that there's a 99% chance that you will not be able to make that happen. However, with the correct information, you can start a business. You can start a car wash today. Just go ahead and let everyone that you know that you're starting a car wash and start washing cars. You'll make $1,500 to $3,000 this month and then next month you'll do it again and again and again and at the end of the year you will have made thirty to fifty thousand dollars see this is the seductive sexy specialized nature of investing i'm going to put a little money into this investment and i'm going to extract this massive yield sometimes that happens like the young kid who was trading who got options on Tesla. Tesla. He put $2,000 in the market and made $78,000. I got a question for you. Remember when I said I was in the storage auction business and I bought 1,500 units and there was only 45 that were exceptional? Out of 1,500 units, there was only 45 exceptional. How many folks have been making money off, off Tesla? Many folks have been making money off Tesla because Tesla's been appreciating like a mofo. What, is, what other stocks are appreciating like Tesla? Put them in the comments. Tesla is one company. Tesla is a rare breed. There are not a hundred Teslas in the stock market. It's only one Tesla. And I guarantee you, there's only a handful of stocks that are doing what Teslas are doing. Just a handful. If you are on these hot stocks, because Tesla is hot, it's hot right now, burning down the world. Because see, you could do that with Tesla, but how many other stocks can you do that with? Not that many. Going back to my example, 1,500 storage units, and there was only 45 that were exceptional. So if you play the game, you will come up with exceptions. You will have some home runs. It will happen. But can you make a living off of home runs? The best batter in baseball, he strikes out more times than he gets home runs. And when we're talking with money and you're striking out with money, that means you're going bust. You're going broke. So to my dear investors who like, hey, Forex is great. You should try it. Why well, I want to take a pay cut. See, y'all don't understand how much money I make. I'm, I'm not that flashy, but I'm about to become a little bit more flat because I make 90 to $150,000 a month. I've been doing that for years. And that is more money per month. That's like almost three X what the average person makes a year in a month or five X on the month I do 150. This is why I'm, I have my agenda to create more corporate citizens because I'm telling you life is nice. Look, let me tell you something that's really interesting because right now that today I went ahead because I have monthly subscriptions and I just converted all my monthly subscriptions to my business credit card. And I've got one business credit card that's pretty neat because it, it, it expenses everything. So I'm moving all of my business spend off of my personal credit cards because essentially what's going to happen is I'm pretty much not going to be using my personal credit. I'm just going to convert all my spend to my business credit cards. So my, my, my FICO should be going through the roof. I know last time I checked, it was like 810. 
So I might be getting an 850 because I'm not gonna be using my personal credit that much. I'm just gonna get a little gas here. I'm going to buy dinner here, rotate the cards and keep them active. But all my spend is about to go corporate everything because this one credit card i mean it's got all kind of managements i can issue employees cards i just go in the dashboard put their name in there bam and a few days later they'll have a card which is going to be helpful when i get in real estate and that's start the property management card company because the property manager is going to be having to do things going to have to pay for things have to set things up so this is going to be really really handy and i'm going to put this in the corporate toolbox for you investors i may more money in a week than you do in a year with investing. I want you to think about that. There are 52 weeks in a year and I make more money in one week than you do in a year in investing. And y'all keep pushing on me, become an investor, get in the stock game. How many of y'all are driving Porsches? How many of y'all are living in million dollar houses? I ain't hearing none. See, this is a lesson I learned a long time ago. Don't take advice from folks who are not doing better than you. And this may be make me an elitist motherfucker, but most of y'all ain't doing better than me. Like 99.% of y'all ain't doing better than me. So why am I gonna listen? And also just to be respectful, Respectful. There's a lot of you who understand that I'm giving you great information. You're taking the information, you're using the information, you're making your lives better. So kudos for you. But for all of you, quote, investors, and let me tell you why you want to be an investor. You don't know how to build a business. You feel that this is a way for you to cheat your way to wealth. And I did some research. You know that you hear that real estate is responsible for more millionaires? It's not actually true. More millionaires are minute from the business owner class and many of those business owners then get into real estate because I can see how this is conflated but Elon Musk billionaire did he become a billionaire for real estate nope Tesla SpaceX Jeff Bezos billionaire did he become a billionaire for real estate nope Zuckerberg billionaire did he become a real billionaire for real estate nope Bloomberg did he become a billionaire from real estate Nope, I can do this all day. I can just go down the list because when you look at the top richest people in the world, their wealth did not come from real estate. They may have large real estate holdings, but their wealth came from creating a product or a service that made them a gang of money and they parked a lot of that money into real estate. But the real estate wasn't the reason that they made them if you check here on the YouTube, look at the number of real estate channels and listen to what they say. I've been doing real estate 10, 15 years and I had to go to my hard money lender. See, I hear things like that. You've been doing real estate 10, 15 years, but you're not your own bank. You can't run your own projects. Now there's a guy that was on the Flip Man channel who does 92 flips a year and he's his own bank. See, this, this, this is once again, this is what about the corporate toolbox and money management. If you've been in an industry 10 to 15 years and you've been successful, why are you borrowing money? Because you should have your own banking, corporate holding structure set up where you are the bank and you're lending your operating company's money. How come they ain't happening? Just virtually every channel that they talk about, my hard money lender, my hard money lender. You've been doing real estate 10 to 15 years, but you don't have enough money to float your own deals? Why is that? Since real estate is responsible for creating all these millionaires. Why is that? Why all these millionaires still have to borrow money? How come they don't have enough money to fund their own deals? But all of the business people who create products and services, they got enough money to pay cash money for real estate and fund their own deals. It's very interesting, very interesting, very, 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 very interesting. Because here's the thing, going back to service. If you want to make a lot of money, serve a lot of people. It's just that simple. But there are so many people who want to cheat the system in rent seek and just extract pure money out the market without creating a product, without creating a service, without really doing that damn much. And it doesn't work. That's why 99% of the people who will try to do it through Forex, day trading, Amazon FBA, whatever internet scam you can bring before me, fail! Because it should be about service. What years ago when I was listening to Earl's Nightingale lead the field, that attuned my mindset. I need to serve people. And see, for the lazy, and I'm just keeping a buck 
here on these internet streets. A lot of you are just lazy. I don't want to do anything. And also, this is why a lot of you can't find a relationship because you lazy. Yeah, I, I went there. It ain't because there's no good. There are plenty of good people out there. But see, if you want to be in a relationship, let's go ahead and describe your best friend. How did your best friend get to be your best friend? They were a friend to you. There was certain overtures that were made that made them a lifelong friend. But you, you get in these relationships and it's just supposed to be magic. Same principles apply. If you want to be in a relationship, make it your goal to be the best boyfriend that you can be. If you want to be in a relationship, make it a goal to be the best girlfriend you can be. And it ain't about sex. When you become a friend, when you become a compassionate and caring person, you will find that developing relationships aren't that hard. But as long as you are selfish, it's gonna be hard. Cause like I said, just like I, I listen to all of these real estate people who are still having to borrow money cause they don't have their own money, Interesting. I listen to what people say on these relationship channels, and it's the same thing. Er, you know, Earl Nightingale will give you so much insight on how to be a better person. It's about service. It's about creating. It's about building. It's not about rent seeking. It's not about forex and day trading. Because all these devices, and also when you're doing forex, because I really don't know, but I do know with day trading, for you to win, someone's going to lose. So for you to win big, that means that someone's lost or a lot of people lost big. I don't know if it works like that with Forex. I haven't dived into that because I'm keeping my focus on my business. Yes, Forex is sexy. Day trading is sexy. Amazon FBA is sexy. Whatever internet scam they come up with is sexy. You don't have to do a lot of work. You just sit back and collect wheelbarrows full of money. Hallelujah. And it don't work 99.99% .99 of the time because the system wasn't designed that way that way to my investors i got my ten thousand dollar challenge if you think that you're making more money than me let's go ahead and put our money let, let's let the money do the talk i'll put up my ten thousand you'll put up your ten thousand and then we will we'll have to examine your tax records let's see how much money you really make because i'm having a conversation with my banker and he was just talking to all these folks who claim to be making this money and they look at their taxes and they ain't making that much money very funny to my investors Investing should be a supplement because it's very, very hard to become an investor and make that your main gig. It's very, very hard. You'd just be more successful if you sat down, rolled up your sleeves, went to work and started a business. Facts, as they say out here in these internet streets. Facts! So that's all I got for you this month in the corporate toolbox. We're gonna to be talking about how to start a business and brand two very important things. Branding is very critical. We're going to talk about the beginning steps of a business and we're going to get into marketing, but marketing is probably going to come November. You can still get in right now, one time fee, 3,500, or you can do, because I left the uh, monthly fee at 150, I just increased the number of months. So you can still get in at 150 and the drop down menu will expose the payment plans. All of the links are below. So with that, I will see you guys in the next video. We should be right about here.